Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Kim Chapman. It is a crafty crime growing in popularity. Criminals stealing gas right out of your car. But when one suspect attempted this crime on Tennessee Temple's campus, community members jumped into action. Micaiah Thurman found out what one staff member's wife did to bring the suspect to justice. Micaiah. Kim, Tennessee Temple has been in the news recently after gating their campus to help step up their security. But today, officials tell me that it wasn't the wrought iron gates that stopped one suspected criminal. Uh, we have faculty and staff that live on campus. As a matter of fact, that's uh, how the person was uh, apprehended is because we have eyes all over our campus. Last week, police say Thomas Bouch took to Tennessee Temple University looking for more than an education. We had an individual uh, who basically cut our gas line to one of our buses um, and siphoned about two gallons of gas out of one of our athletic buses. On Thursday afternoon, a staff member's wife spotted a man crawling under the university buses with some type of machinery. When she went to confront him, she decided it was time to call for backup. We noticed that he was, um, you know, uh, uh, partaking in some sus suspicious behavior and we noticed it right away and we called security on campus and the Chattanooga Police Department. The man had in fact cut the gas line and was siphoning gasoline from the 24 seater buses that the school purchased less than six months ago. When officers arrived, the witness had already captured a full description of the man as well as his license plate number. With those two details, officers traced Thomas Bouch to the crime. But even with the gated campus, criminals still found a way to sneak in. The university's vice president suspects it's because the community isn't completely isolated. We still have one avenue that comes completely through our campus that is not gated on one street that has not been closed. With our security being the way it is, we still have traffic that comes in and out. This is just uh, a proven way to where we can take our security into our own hands and we have made a difference in not only securing our campus, but also helping the community uh, take someone off the street. 39-year-old Thomas Bouch has been charged with two counts of vandalism and two counts of theft. No word from police yet about if he'll be charged in connection with the other fuel thefts around town.